All right, guys. Um, we spent the past couple of days talking about political parties and, and what they are and why we have them. Um, today, we're going to talk about the two major political parties in America. We're going to talk about Republicans and Democrats. Now, I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of stuff that we learn in school that we're never going to learn, never, never going to use again. It's not that important. There's even some stuff in history and civics class that maybe we'll never learn use it again. But let me tell you this. Every American, every American teenager, every American adult should know at least the basics of how a Republican is different from a Democrat. That's like common knowledge stuff that everybody should really know. Um, as we've talked about in class, we have the 2016 presidential election coming up. It's a very important election, and some of you are going to be 18 for that election. So it is definitely in your best interest and in the country's best interest for you guys to understand this. You know, and it is also pretty interesting. It's going to allow you guys to watch the news a little bit more and maybe understand what's going on. Maybe not be an expert, but at least you can have some idea about what's going on. Um, so this is a very complicated issue, and I'm making it very simple in a PowerPoint. And I do not expect you guys to be experts after today, after this one lesson. We're going to talk more about it. We're going to decide where you guys stand on some of these issues. But um, I just just do my best. You know, I'll do my best to explain it to you. But just do your best to try to pay attention to this because it is really important and it and is a little complicated. But like I said, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you. Um, all right, so here it goes. Today we're going to talk about what it means to be a Republican and what it means to be a Democrat. So when you guys turn 18, you reg you can register to vote, and you can choose if you want to register as a Republican or a Democrat or as neither, which is an independent. Um, hopefully this lesson today will help you understand which which side you would want to vote for or which side you would want to register for. So let's first talk about the Republicans here. Republicans believe in a small government. They don't mean a physically small government like in Washington, like, like shrinking the size of the White House. They mean how powerful should the government be. Republicans don't think the government should be very powerful. So they don't believe in things like laws about how business should be run. Um, they don't believe there should be laws about how like the environment should be run. They believe people should pretty much be able to fend for themselves and do what they want within reason. So with that being said, governments... Um, Republicans believe that government should not help support people. So things like welfare, social security, food stamps, se Section 8 housing. Um, if you're in my U.S. history class, all this stuff from the New Deal, Republicans would, would, would be against that. They think everybody should fend for themselves. It's not up to the government to help uh, people live. That being said, they also believe in lower taxes. So people, so all this stuff like welfare, social security, and food stamps, it all comes from tax dollars. But since uh, Republicans don't want this stuff to exist. They think that taxes should be lower too. And Republicans tend to care a lot about national security, like how protected we are from the rest of the world. Not that Democrats don't care about that stuff too, but it, it tends to be more important to re not, uh, Republicans. Um, like Donald Trump, who is a Republican, he talks a lot about national security and how you know we're in danger of being invaded by ISIS. He probably talks about that more than most Democrats do. Now the opposite of that, you have the Democrats. The Democrats believe in what they call big government. So uh, the government should have a lot of power and it should control how business is run. So things like uh, environmental laws about uh, about business, you know, Democrats think there should be a lot of a lot of those. Um, at the same time, government governments believe that people should be helped. You know, when they need help, they should be supported when they need help. So Democrats do believe in things like welfare, social security food stamps, Section 8 housing, um, you know, WIC, all that stuff. Democrats are for that stuff. So people who are struggling, uh, you know, um, Democrats believe that the government should help them out. And the, the way you pay for that all is with taxes. So all that stuff comes from tax dollars. So Democrats do believe that there should be higher taxes. And Democrats believe more in what they call individual rights. So Republicans believe, so you see here where it says national security, Republicans believe that maybe the government should be spying on its own citizens in order to protect us, um, in order to like you know look for terrorists or criminals. Whereas Democrats believe that everybody should have their rights and those rights should not be violated, even if that means making the country a little bit safer. All right, 
Now we're only going to talk about maybe four or five more differences in the political beliefs of Republicans and Democrats, but here are some big ones. Um, Republicans believe in like traditional family values, like uh, a mom, a dad, and kids. Like that's how a family should be. Republicans, I mean Democrats, believe that there should be gay rights, that, that gay marriage should be legal, that you know if someone is gay or transgender, you know they, they should be able to adopt kids. That um, you know it should be equal for everybody, regardless if maybe it's not a traditional family value. Um, Republicans tend to favor the Second Amendment more, which is gun ownership. So people should be able to buy guns whenever they want, maybe without a background check. Uh, anybody be able, should be able to buy a gun. Democrats tend to believe there should be more gun control, and maybe there should be less guns. It should be harder to buy a gun. Um, Pro-life, meaning Republicans are tend to be against abortion, which means pro-life, and Democrats tend to be for uh, you know legalizing abortion, which is pro-choice. So think about it like this: Republicans tend to be very more religious. You know, they like the traditional family values, like the traditional Christian values, and they're against abortion. Whereas Democrats usually think you know abortion should be legal. Um, another issue which Donald Trump has talked a lot about, and I, you know, I've talked to you guys about this, this is the issue, issue you seem to be familiar with. Um, Republicans tend to be more against immigration, especially like, you know, guys like Donald Trump, you know, no illegal immigrants, maybe even limiting legal immigration. Democrats tend to be a little more in favor of allowing immigration. And Republicans um, tend to not want to make any laws about the environment, because like we said before, they want a small government. They think that government uh, rules might interfere with business, so they they want less laws about the like environmental laws, like you know, um, like how cars, how cars should be made, and how businesses have to dispose of waste. Whereas Democrats are, tend to be more in favor of uh, supporting environmental laws and making things like renewable energy, you know, um, and like using wind wind and solar power instead of like oil which is bad for the environment um so again this is a very basic ex explanation of the difference between the two parties but um democrats are also known as the dnc um it should, sorry that actually says dnp it should say dnc uh which is the democratic national committee uh republicans are also known as the gop which is the grand old party Democrats are represented by a donkey. Republicans are represented by an elephant. An elephant. Um, Democrats are represented by the color blue, and Republicans are rep represented by the color red. I'm just going to pause it on the screen for a second so you guys can kind of soak this in. This is important. You guys should know this. So, Democrat, donkey, blue. Republican, elephant, red. GOP, DNP. Um, I'll just let, let you guys look at that for a second. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about, this is where it gets a little confusing. Democrats are known as left-wing. Republicans are known as right-wing. This has to do with something they call the political spectrum, um, which we're going to learn about in a second. Uh, Republicans are conservative. Democrats are liberal. This might seem very confusing to you guys. I'm going to try to explain it in a second a little bit better. But I, I have a feeling it's going to take more than just one day for you guys to understand this. So look at this line here. Um, either one of these lines. On one side you have the left, on one side you have the right, and then in the middle you have the center. So if you're if you're a Democrat, you tend to be liberal, and which means left wing. If you're a Republican, you tend to be conservative, which means right wing. Um, I really can't think of a better way to explain this to you guys right now, but again, we're going to spend more time on this, uh, you know, in the next few days. So think of liberal is left. Uh, conservatives right Republican another word for a Republican is a conservative another word for a Democrat is a liberal again this is probably confusing but we're going to talk more about this uh, here you go again so you have Democrats on the left Republicans on the right you know, modernists who are like you know someone who's uh, a moderate I mean a moderate is somebody who's like kind of in the middle who can kind of go either way um, Obama's a Democrat on the left Trump is a Republican on the right George W. Bush, who you guys were all alive for his presidency, he was a Republican on the right. Uh, so this is a map of how people voted. I can't, I don't remember which election is it's from. 
but you know every country, every state that voted in blue, it, every state in blue voted for Democrat. Every state in red voted for Republican. It might seem like there's more Republican states here, but actually, like California, um, is the biggest state in the country. You know, and that went Democrat, and New York is here, and that was a Democratic state. Um, all right, that wraps it up. I'm sorry if this was a little confusing, uh, but it was the best I could do, and we we're going to spend more time talking about it. So, um, all right.